Hello, Ackman. As we get closer to coming back to hybrid instruction, I wanted to go over a couple of changes to our schedule just to make sure everybody was in the know. The first is that we will go from an AB schedule to an ABBA schedule. Easy to remember. That means that on Monday and Tuesday, we'll have an A day, then a B day. Wednesdays will stay just like they are with Ohana in the morning, and that's the only synchronous event. Then Thursdays will be B days, and Fridays will be A days. We'll also make a switch that our day will run from 8 to 2, the first period of the day starting at 8 a.m. and the last period of the day ending at 2. We're doing the ABBA so that we can accommodate two attendance groups. Our students who are coming back in hybrid have either been put into attendance group 1 or attendance group 2. If you aren't sure what group you're in, you can go into student view, click in information, and down toward the bottom of the page it'll list what your attendance group is. We need to go ABBA to make sure that all of our students got to have each of their classes in person if they were coming back. And since attendance group one will come to school on Monday and Thursday, and attendance group two will come to school on Tuesday and Friday, we need to flip around the B and A to make sure everybody got to see each class. If you're remaining in CDL, well, there's no change other than the ABBA you'll log in each day rather than coming into school. And the 8 to 2 will still be the case. The other change, though, that you need to keep in mind is lunch. With everybody's CDL, we've had one lunch. But with students coming back on campus, we need to go back to our two lunches each day. That means students will either have an early lunch or a late lunch. All students will have a chance to get a printout that looks like this that shows both the bell schedule and the early and late lunch schedules. That means, say, if you have Mr. Thompson for fifth period, then on, uh, you'd go down to the bottom where it says first lunch, fifth period teachers, and you would see that he is first lunch. So you would go to period one, eight to nine fifteen, period three, nine twenty-five to ten forty, and then you'd go to first lunch, ten forty to eleven ten. After that, you go to period 5 at 11.20 and period 7 at 12.45. So that's how that would work there. If it is a B day and you were in Ms. Warren's class, you'd look down at the list. You'd see that Ms. Warren also has first lunch, so you'd have the same schedule. So you should be able to take a look at this piece of paper. It'll come out in our Monday message. Everybody will get one if they come to orientation in the, for new students and students who are in sixth grade. And we'll make sure that we have these available for students as they come back to school on the 22nd. I just want to make sure that you all have a sense of what this is all going to look like on the ground. The ABBA, I think, will make sense as we get deeper into this. The first and second lunch are something we do in just a normal school year. And so my hope is that as we get into the flow of the spring, this will all feel as natural as it can. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.